how's it going welcome to or welcome back to my channel i'm headed over to spearfish in uk to offer a hand because they've got exciting things happening and i wanted to be a part of it but before we get into all of that what i'm going to do this week and hear me out i'm just going to vlog my entire week every time i do something else i'll get a camera out and we'll have a look and we'll see what i'm doing i do some pretty cool stuff and i just figured why not make one video this week of everything that i do and see how that goes it'll be a lot easier to edit a lot less to try and remember in the last video you probably noticed i did uh paul's van uh matt's van we did all of those vans so i could have made a video out of doing paul's van made a video out of doing matt's van but I, I overcomplicate things. So I'm gonna undercomplicate this massively. So I'm gonna just vlog what I'm doing and see how that goes. <laughs> so yeah, so today it's Monday morning. The weather's been absolutely shocking. The weather hasn't been very good over the last couple of days, to be fair. It's been a little bit um stormy one might say uh, so the road's a bit greasy this morning so i'm taking it steady but i'm heading over to the spear fishing shop spear fishing uk they're relocating they've got a new premises uh not very far from their old premises but i offer to lend a hand now in my way of living in the way that i live my life i'm a big fan of um Exchange of labour. I don't really have a massive need for huge amounts of money. We'd all like it, don't get me wrong. But I only buy crap with it. So when a situation like this comes up, and the owner, Tony, is happy to compensate, I wouldn't say pay, is happy to compensate with spear fishing equipment, naturally, for someone like me, yeah. I'm into it. So there's a couple of bits and pieces I need. One of them specifically is a weight vest. So let's see whether or not I can work hard enough to warrant being paid in a weight vest. That would be nice. So I made it to Spearfish in UK safely. It's in par, in St. Austell. Me and Matt actually came up with a plan, but I recorded it in time lapse. So I'll just show you around the shop instead. <laughs> This is the situation, there's a week and all of this stock has to be out of this building and into the new one, including all of the stock from the stock room in the middle. Everything off the walls has to be packed, gone over from here, all the way over to there. Now I know it's not very far, but the reason for the move is look at the size of the new building. It's absolutely incredible. It's nearly twice the size of the old one. So there's a lot to get on with. The only way we're gonna really get that into this video is by going full bore with a good old fashioned montage. So have yourselves a little montage.
So it's Thursday, back at the spear fishing shop. I'm not gonna be here all day. Got some other stuff to do today. You see that in a minute. Someone to introduce you to, but you see that in a minute. So it's the shop now. There we go. There it is, look. Fucking uh, YouTube. <laughs> Mate, YouTuber of the year and I forgot to YouTube everything. So yeah, that's uh, stage one complete. Just ripping all of those bits off now. I can't stay today because like I said, got some stuff to show you, but the new shop is 1.75 the size of the old shop. So it's nearly twice the size. And this is everything from the other shop in this shop. And they're already running out of space. They've got another two units or three containers or something like that that they've got to empty. But I've had a hell of a week, so nobody can hear me right now. But if anybody who's been doing this watches this, I've enjoyed myself. It's been great. The thing is, like when you're hanging out with your mates, it's a bit different, isn't it? It's not like working. But that's me done here. Moving on. Got some stuff to show you. Let's go and have a look. So we've come down to Nuki Harbour, to the boathouse. We love eating here. Unfortunately, it's chucking it down with rain now. The reason we brought you here is because we wanted to introduce you to a new Kerno Mads crew member. This is Haggis. Haggis is a 15 week old Patadel Terrier crossed with a toy poodle. Having a dog was never really on the cards, well, until plans change and then suddenly here he is. He's absolutely fantastic, we couldn't be happier with him. He's incredibly funny and hopefully he's gonna be a big part of the channel from now on. And uh, yeah, so here he is. Haggis, say hello. Say hello. Yeah, he's kind of loving the ring. Let's go get somewhere. Dry. Let's go get somewhere dry. We love eating a Nuki Boathouse. We ordered some beef birria tacos and a Philly cheesesteak pizza. The dog had some tripe. Disgusting. Luckily, he quite enjoys it. And then we sat down, munched our way through all of that, where we talked about our plans for next week. All of that is obviously going to be in next week's vlog. So, yeah, definitely worth liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell if you want to. And then we headed off so I could get an early night because I had pretty big plans for that weekend, as you will no doubt see next. It's now Friday afternoon. I've just driven down to or up from Cornwall to Somerset. Um, we've got the heating on because it's actually getting really cold. It's definitely autumn now. Um, and I have picked up this little hobby horse champion here. So we've ended up here. I mean, that's not a bad view, is it? I'm gonna walk down there to see if the signal's any better down that way. Basically, right, so here's the crack now. We've come down to, as I said, Hawkridge Reservoir um, in Somerset, looking tired as hell. I've got a hat here somewhere, but I can't remember where. Hair's not on fleek, as they would say, but I'm still not redoing anything. So I'm just gonna tell you how it's going. We've, um, tomorrow, normally I'd bring uh, Boo to Dorset or we'd go to Cornwall somewhere nice to stay in a van. Um, she normally likes to be near stuff, but the reason that we're staying up here this time is because tomorrow is Wellington Carnival. And Boo is a big fan of the carnival, especially when she got friends in it. She got friends in this one. So she wanted to see that. So we're gonna stay in Somerset tonight, kill some time tomorrow, hopefully go and see my grandson and my eldest daughter. And then we'll go, and then we'll go carnival. She's hungry. I've got some strawberries. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna move down there in a minute, Boo, and see what the signal's like, shall we? Yeah. Should we walk down? I'll tell you what, let's walk down and see what the signal's like down there, rather than moving. There's my Kono Mad stickers there. Got Kono Mad stickers now. You can't stick them outside, they fall off. So yeah, the situation at the moment, that's what we're gonna do. So is that a canter or a gallop? It's a dressage. Oh, okay. That's very good. Yeah, the signal's diabolical. Not too arsed about it. It's only for one night. But if it's any better down here, I think we'll move. Oh no, it probably couldn't be any worse. No swimming, no barbecues, no dogs, and no boats. So 
and no public access. But there's nothing along here that says we can't stay, so we're staying. If anything good happens, I'll let you know, but probably catch up with you again tomorrow because we're pretty much just going to play cards, maybe Cluedo, if I can find all the bits. Right, take it easy. See you either in a bit or tomorrow, whichever one happens. I'm not, I'm not redoing stuff. I'm just going to go with it. What a lovely place to wake up. Talking quietly because we've got another two bands here. There's a T4 and a Sprinter. The, two, the T4 is down the far end and the Sprinter looks like a professional. I don't know where they're from. I think it might be um, Germany or something. I just like to walk their dog. The boo's up now. So let's go and uh, sort the van out, make a coffee, make a plan, take it from there. So yeah, I'll sort the van out, put the curtains away, do all that good stuff and then make a brew. It's met a legend, guy down there, he's uh, angling, he said that it's owned by Wessex Water, you can buy a day ticket and uh, come and fish. You can walk around the whole thing in less than a day, because it's not a massive pond, but there's a lot of trout in there apparently, so hang around here for a minute, see how these fly fishermen on the boat get on, over there, Boo's going to ride her pony over there. And yeah, it's very tranquil, very, very tranquil. It's lovely. So it's Saturday evening. One of the things that I'm doing this week is I'm not retaking anything. I'm going to say stuff that doesn't work. I just got to say it again and then just clip it because I'm sick of going through hours and hours of footage to try to get any idea of what it was. So this could go really peak on because I'm actually really very, very tired. So it's Saturday night. I didn't record any more after the um, lake earlier on because we did actually manage to get to go and see my older daughter and my grandson. We had a great day, spent some time with them, met some food and chilled out with them for the day, which was absolutely awesome. Um, we did then make our way over to Wellington for the carnival. Now, for those of you who don't know, in Somerset, when I was growing up, I'm 43 now and haven't lived in Somerset for 20 years plus, but... Growing up in Somerset, the carnival season was always quite a big deal. Wellington Carnival, then Taunton Carnival and Bridgewater Carnival were always like pretty big events when we were kids. And it's nice to see that that's still carrying on now. Wellington Carnival's the smaller of the three, but it still had some pretty big floats, which is what I go for, to be fair. I like the big tractor-drawn, really light up, really, really impressive floats. The processionary stuff has never really interested me, but I know that that's a massive part of the carnival. So massive hats off to absolutely everyone that was involved. It was really good. And it was great to see Kira in her natural habitat with some of her friends as well, which was a bit, it was, it was a bit mad to be fair. I mean, she's just started her secondary school. So yeah, she's, uh, she's not a baby anymore. Bless her. With that said, this week has been, it's been an eye opener for me. I, I was hoping that this was going to work out this way. I mean, I said at the start of the week, I just wanted to vlog everything that I did. Now I don't want anyone to think that I've gone to any lengths to make any of this stuff happen this week which was my problem. When I tried to make things happen for content, I found it just lost any, I just went into it. I just, I had no interest in it. It just seemed very forced. So everything that's happened this week would have happened anyway. So it seems like sensible just to, just to document it, to vlog it. So that's what I'm going to be doing from that, at least for the next six weeks, just to see how it goes, just to see how I get on with it. 
I for one enjoyed it and I think that it's going to be a lot easier to edit I hope so bear with if you don't enjoy if, in fact if you don't enjoy this for if you haven't enjoyed it whatsoever leave a comment just say I'm not you know I'm going to be doing it anyway to be honest the thing is with YouTube I've really enjoyed the whole process of making videos it's not really about where I'd like it to be successful I don't think anybody makes YouTube videos and doesn't want them to be successful but it's not the be all and end all for me. I mean, I, I just enjoy the whole process. So um, next week's going to be a little bit different because it's Jet's birthday tomorrow. So um, yeah, it's really up to Jet what we do, which I mean, that could be anything. Let's be honest. We could end up anywhere doing anything. So next week's vlog should be quite interesting. I've got a load of other stuff that I've got on the go at the minute as well. There's RC cars that need to be repaired and probably smashed up in the woods. There's um, a motorbike that I'm building, I'm building a 125 motorbike, at the, well, rebuilding a 125 motorbike at the moment, and I've got a lot of footage of that, but it's just been bits and pieces, so when I get the parts that I've ordered for that, I like to start introducing that as well, and you can see how I've been getting on with that, um, it's still called the Hardley Davidson Project, so watch out for that one, that's um, it's going to be a bit of a head scratcher for me, I've never, never done anything like it, so that should be quite fun. But thanks for your patience, and I hope that this week's worked out quite well. I'm going to go to Spearfish in UK to see whether or not I did enough work to warrant getting at least a weight vest. I'll be grateful for that. And um, yeah, so um, hopefully something cool is going to happen this week, and I'll be able to make another video. Don't know which days I'm going to release them yet. Look out on my Instagram, because I'm going to see how long it takes to edit this one and figure out from there what day I'm going to try to release it on. We're going to try and be consistent, see whether or not that works for me. I'm knackered, so I'm rambling. I'm going. Take care. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. Love you lots. Take care. Love you. Bye.